Hi everyone. So I haven't done a... Why do I feel like I'm tilted a little bit? Hi everyone. I haven't done a favorites in a little while and I've been enjoying um, some things so I thought I would share them with you. And so it's not a lot of stuff this time so hopefully I can keep this video to a reasonable length. Um, one of the things that I've gotten somewhat recently is this Benefit the Professional Matte Rescue Gel. I like the texture of this. It's very similar to the hydrating primer uh, texture and smell from Makeup Forever. No, is it hydrating? Yes, hydrating. Um, so it has just kind of a fresh smell that isn't super overpowering. It is a gel like it says, so it doesn't have a really, you know, silicone-y um, feel to it. It just feels like a kind of a very light gel lotion. Um, it absorbs quickly and unlike other mattifying primers that I've tried recently, like the Makeup Forever one and the Becca uh, Evermatte, those two, if I didn't blend them super, super well, um, at the edges, foundation would kind of grab onto it and it would be very patchy. I've not had the, that problem with this. While it doesn't keep my skin super duper matte or anything, um, it does keep makeup on my face better. So that I've really been enjoying that aspect where I can have a primer that helps out with that. And the other thing I've noticed, see, I said I was going to take a long time, but I've already talked for how long about this. Um, the other thing I like about this is that certain, the other primer that I use on a regular basis is the Hourglass uh, Veil Primer. And I have found with this one, certain products just kind of break down in a funny way over time. For the things it works with well, it's awesome. But the things that it doesn't work with, it's terrible because it just causes the foundation almost to like separate and settle into my pores and look very patchy. Ugh. So this does not do that. So I really appreciate that now I have two good options based on different things. Um, I would say the Veil Primer possibly keeps makeup on my face a tiny bit better. I'm still testing. My skin is going through a lot of changes right now just because I'm not pregnant anymore. It's going back to kind of its regular, more regular uh, level of oil. So, and the weather is changing, going from very dry winter to a humid summer. That's a lot. Another thing that I've been liking a lot lately is my MAC Face and Body in white. So I kind of, I, I just didn't try using this as a mixer. Um, I knew that all oh, this is water-based, it just doesn't mix well with, you know, silicone-based foundations, blah, 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 blah. But I never tried it because I was just like, oh, those makeup people know what they're talking about, so why, why even bother? I find this mixes very well with other things. I don't know why I didn't try it. And the other thing is because this is a very dewy finish, it kind of gives um, my more matte foundations a little bit more of a natural look to them. So I really, I've been really enjoying this. When I use a small amount just for mixing, the smell doesn't bother me. The reason I don't wear this much, well, there's a couple reasons I don't wear face and body in general, but one of them is the smell. And since I'm only using a small amount of this, the smell doesn't bother me, it's nice. It's lovely. It's wonderful. I'm not wearing this with anything today. If you want to know what's on my face. Another thing I'm going to talk about at some point, I'm sure, do a review, review of, is the Buxom uh, Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation in Tickle the Ivory. I did not have to lighten this. This is the color it comes. Awesome. Awesome. I've been really having a lot of hits as far as foundations that are light enough for me lately. It's pretty nice. Well, okay, just two, but that's a lot more than normal. <laughs> okay. Uh, another thing that I've really, really been enjoying is this brow pencil. It's the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Ash. It's what I have in my eyebrows today. So it's the kind of triangular shaped pencil. And um, Anastasia has one like this now other companies do too. I think the Tom Ford brow pencil maybe is this shape. So it is not quite as ashy as I was hoping. Really, because everything turns super duper brown 
and warm on me. Um, really, to get anything that's like truly ashy, I would have to use a gray. I don't have a gray brow pencil, but I think it Cosmetics has a gray one and maybe um, Anastasia, do they have a gray? I don't know. If they do, I would like to try it out, but I'm not going to buy another high end brow pencil until I finish this one and I use this almost every day, so yeah. Um, the spoolie is okay. I don't love it, but it's okay. And it's really just handy to have it on the pencil. So I do appreciate that. Um, yeah. So another thing that I have really liked is this, uh, deluxe sample. It was a hundred point reward with Sephora and it's the Marc J Jacobs fine liner, ultra skinny gel eye crayon in blacker. So I do have a deluxe sample of the highliner, which is their regular size pencil didn't really like it all that much for tight lining because it would just because it's soft and it's thicker it just gets really caught up in my eyelashes this I'm getting less product in my eyelashes which really means at the end of the day there's less cleanup afterwards after I wash my face anytime I tight line with anything basically unless it's a like a cake liner um, I'm gonna have to do some cleanup at the end of the day this lasts really well on my tight line area it's okay in the waterline. It doesn't last all day for me, but I don't really tend to wear stuff really specifically in my waterline. It doesn't irritate my eyes, and I have found a lot of things irritate my eyes in my waterline. And when I tight line, inevitably I get some in my waterline, even if I don't want it there. Um, yeah, so very fine tip. It's, I think, similar to the Hourglass. Um, super skinny gel pencils. I have not used this one. I would be curious to see price comparison wise which one is cheaper, but since this formula agrees with me well, once I finish the sample, I probably am going to buy the full size, which is, that says a lot. I have a ton of eyeliner and this one is just that good that I would be willing to buy another black liner. Another totally unexpected favorite is this Pencil, not it's not a pencil. What is this? It's a brush. There we go. So this came in the Vice 4 palette. This side, I don't like it. I do not like it. But this side, I love, love. It's like a little fluffy. It's a very nice small size. It's kind of like a Sonia Kashuk small shadow brush, which I have lost. I'm sure it's somewhere underneath my vanity. But since we're extremely crowded for space in here, I have lots of stuff underneath my vanity, like storage stuff, so I'm sure it's under there somewhere. I should probably have turned the monitor off because now you could potentially be listening to my said two-year-old whine. Okay, um, yeah, so the fluffiness is great. The size is great. It packs on product wonderfully, and then I can kind of use it to place product into my crease at the the intensity that I desire. Almost everything on this eye look today was done with this pencil. The or brush, it's not a pencil. Um, the only other brush that I brought in was a big kind of fluffy blending brush. It's a little huge for a crease brush for me, but I did use it to put um, a very light transition shade in. And then I used it over top to just kind of blend everything together. So yeah, I, I wish this was not dual sided because I would rather just have this alone. But I've been loving it. It's, I haven't like had pure joy for a brush, an eye brush like this in quite some time. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Okay, so I got this kit from Becca, which is available at Ulta. It's like the blushed radiance kit or something like that. It came with a, um, small sized blush in Flower Child and also the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal in pressed form and I did not have that before. Really enjoying this, you know, whatever. That's not so shocking because the Shimmering Skin Perfectors in general are my favorite. What's on my cheek right now is Moonstone. But the blush I'm wearing today is Flower Child. What I really, really like about this blush is that I can put it on and actually get the shimmer from the blush. It's fairly shimmery, um, 
but normally blushes are just too dark for me to actually apply enough to get that sheen. So, but this one I can, I can, <sighs> I can put it on and actually get the shine from it. That kit, by the way, I think is awesome. It, I didn't have anything that was in it and I like everything that came in it. So it came with a kind of deluxe sample size of the backlight uh, priming filter and I've been enjoying that. Uh, and it also came with the little kind of spotlight uh, tube size of Moonstone, the liquid Moonstone. I did not have Moonstone in liquid. So super happy with that whole kit. I mean, that whole kit could really be in the favorites, but specifically the blush and the, the highlighter making me really happy. Uh, I think the last thing is the Urban Decay Sheer Revolution Lipstick. I like this formula more than I expected. I had used my $10 Platinum like coupon for uh, that birthday comp coupon from Ulta when your Platinum is $10 off Whew, to get Walk of Shame. And this is a little tricky to wear by itself, but it's a really nice light nude. Um, during the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta, they had the Sheer Revolutions half off. So I got two. I got uh, Rapture and Liar, and I'm wearing Rapture today. Um, I have this issue with any sort of sheer product that um, because I have a lot of freckles at my lip line, it's really difficult me for me to wear a sheer lipstick that when I press my lips together, it doesn't like leave this kind of very light space below the freckle lip line. Um, or the other problem I has, have is that there's just not enough pigmentation. It's too sheer so that it just kind of makes the freckle line look darker and the other parts look lighter. I don't have any of those problems with this. I can press my lips together and don't have to worry about it sliding around. I only need to do like two swipes to get kind of that level of pigmentation that I want, which is I don't want fully opaque, but I, cause I want kind of my lip to be able to show a little bit. And I don't know the the, this just makes my lips look kind of juicy. I've been loving the glossy kind of aspect of it very comfortable to wear. There's no scent that bothers me. Um, it doesn't dry out my lips ter terribly. It's just, it's really working for me. So this is Rapture and this is Liar. So just, yeah, super happy with that formula. And I'm not one to buy high-end lipsticks very often. And of course I didn't pay a high-end price for any of these, but I am super, super happy that I have them. So I think that's everything for my, what is this, March favorites? I forgot something, I was washing it and then I had to go give my son some goodnight kisses before his nap and totally forgot about it in the bathroom. So this is a really big one for me. This is the Beauty Junkie Flat Kabuki. Does it say anywhere? No, it doesn't. I mean, it says Flat Kabuki on it, but it doesn't say. Be I always get it confused. Is it Beauty Junkies or Beauty Junkie? Not really sure. So I had heard about this Beauty Junkie Flat Kabuki brush and the brand in general on Kristen Games' channel, which I will link. Um, and she had said that this was more dense than something like the Real Techniques buffing brush, um, which is a different shape anyway, but less dense than the Sigma Sigmax brushes, the flat kabuki that they have. Now, I was kind of shocked to see how expensive Sigma brushes have gotten. They seem to be like more Mac level pricing now and um, that's a lot. And I was pretty pleased to see that these are cheap, cheaper, and um, you can almost always get some sort of coupon code. So Kristen, I believe, has a pretty good coupon code almost all the time. Um, and so I will, if I can find it, I will link it for you or just list it below. Um, I ended up paying this for full price, but it was only $12, something like that. So you could get it for cheaper, definitely. Um, yes, so the magic, the reason that I like this brush so much, okay? This is huge for me. I can apply foundation with this brush and it doesn't settle into my pores. Before, the only way I could make that happen was with a uh, beauty blender or the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge, 
but today I put on a liquid foundation with this brush. So what I do is kind of just pat it to distribute the product and then areas where I know it doesn't tend to settle into my pores, I can actually like use it in a buffing motion. Um, I can sort of sometimes do that in the places that I have issues, but not always. So I prefer to just kind of uh, stipple, you know, and it just blends even with doing that kind of stippling motion really quickly and really awesome. It has just made wearing foundation so much easier because I would much rather clean a brush every few days than clean a sponge every night. So I'm sorry if there's whining in the background. So that is it for my March 2016 favorites. Let me know if you've been loving anything the past month or so. Um, if you've tried any of these things out, did they work for you? Did they not work for you? I always love hearing that. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.